Good day, Sid and Sandy's here, and we're here at North Star Mountain Resort, and we've got my bowhead. And today, we're going to take a little quick video different than my normal videos, because we're going to show the lifties, ski patrol, and anybody else watching this video, how to so safely load one of these bikes onto a lift to get it onto the mountain, so I can take the lift and get up to ride just like everybody else. It can be pretty confusing looking at all this metal framing to figure out where you can safely grab the bike, where it's not going to bite your fingers or pinch you. So the first thing we're going to go over is where to safely grab this bike and this framing to load the bike onto the lift. It's got two very high, high strength points on the bike that are great grab points as well for lifties or anybody else to grab the bike. One of those being here in the shock tower where all the force of this bike being ridden comes through this shock tower. So this makes a great opportunity and grab point for you to pick up the bike. And then grabbing it here, your fingers aren't near anything that rotates or moves to pinch your hands. And a second really fantastic grab point in this lower, in the rear frame area is right here on the seat mount. You can grab both of these points if you have two lifties loading the bike at once and somebody's on the front and somebody's on the rear. This makes a great point to pick the bike up and have good control of where you're pitching the tire and where you're putting the bike. And now we're gonna go through and talk about where not to grab the bike and where it could be dangerous for somebody to grab the bike because either, either moving parts or it can cause damage to the bike itself. One of them being from the back tire itself. It seems like it'd be a great easy grab point, but if you're picking up here, it rotates. And I have seen lifties jam their fingers into this fiberglass and fiberglass isn't fun on your hands. It kind of hurts. Another spot that's not really good to lift up the bike from here on the left side is the battery pack because it can damage the plastic mounts that hold the battery onto the bike and I'll lose it on the trail. And over here on the right side of the bike, we've got two things that look semi like they'd be good grab points, but they really aren't. The first being right here on the battery controller. It's also mounted like the battery and can be easily damaged if you pull it off. The second being the, and the motor here. This is an, ele an electric motor and driving the bike coming to the bottom of the hill to load the lift, it's likely to be really hot. So grabbing on the motor here to lift the bike could result in you burning yourself. So now that we've gone over the back of the bike, we're going to move to the front of the bike and we're going to safely grab on the bike. Now there's two different types of throttle systems for these bowheads. Mine has the thumb throttle, so you can fully grab it by the handlebars. But some of them that have the twist throttle, it can actually damage the throttle to try and pick it up by that part. So now we're around at the front of the bike, I want to show you where you can grab the bike and move the bike around that's not really going to bend anything or hurt, it, hurt the bike itself. Some really great grab points are on these top wishbone arms here. They make for a great grab point to easily be able to pick up the front of the bike and have control over it without having anything moving that will bite your fingers. Another great grab point is this lateral wishbone mount here. This one makes it for a great point to lift the bike up where you are picking it up to set it into the seat of the lift. Another few spots that aren't quite recommended to grab it but are also useful grab points for the bike are right here in the head stem to be able to pick it up and right here on the head stem, next to the, next to the stem itself. The further out you grab it, the more it stresses these bearings in the head and it's not really good for the bike. Another spot that's really easy to grab is here on the front of the bike. So if it's two, two lifties loading it up to straddle a seat, you, a great point is to lift it up here or this frame down here. But I recommend grabbing the frame over the tire as the tire can rotate and give. A, this bike's really unruly so it can kind of lose control of it there. Now that we've gone over where you safely to grab the bike and where not to grab the bike, let's head over to the gondola, meet up with some lifties and get it loaded up in their carrier. Morning. 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 All right, get the bike turned off. All right, I'll get out of their way. Remembering your recommended handholds, Grab the bowhead and transport it to the bike carrier. When setting the bowhead on a rack, it's best to go rear tire first, since the front tires will not fit between the wheel stands. On most carriers, it will be a tight fit, but at a slight angle, the bike will just fit on the carrier. Here you can see how tightly the bowhead is fit on the carrier. To ensure the bike does not fall off in transit, it is best to strap the rear tire to the back of the carrier. A simple bungee or elastic strap is enough to do the job here. While the resort should provide straps, it is best practice for the rider to carry their own to ensure availability. Also note that most carriers are large enough that you can still fit a regular mountain bike in the available remaining wheel stamps. Now that we've reached the top of the mountain, go ahead and unstrap the rear tire from the carrier. From this point, the bike can either be rolled or carried off of the rack. Remember your handholds, and you might need to go off at an angle if there's not enough room to go straight off of the carrier. 
Now that we've shown how to load the bike on a common, uh, the skinnier, smaller white racks, we're gonna go in onto a gondola. We're gonna now show you how to load me onto a seated chair lift from my bow head. So we're gonna show how to load the bike onto the lift and how to load me as a paralyzed individual onto the lift with only one stop and not having to transfer to my wheelchair in the process. So let's head up to the lift and go get onto that. All right, at this resort, it's really convenient that I'm able to park my bike right next to the lift. So I could transfer right from my bike to the seat of the lift without having to transfer from my wheelchair. This prevents these two less transfers and two less opportunities to cause me a pressure sore. So I'll transfer out of the bike, make sure it's off, and off it goes to the lifty so they can get it loaded up. So now that the bike is fully in the cradle, with this one we don't have to strap it down because the front tires are totally in where it's not a risk of falling out. And just like the other carrier, there is room for a mountain bike to be loaded next to the bowhead. Here, the lifties are unloading the bowhead off an angle due to the tight space. And from there, the bike can be pushed or carried into a, a waiting rider. Many platforms offer the ability to transfer directly from the chairlift to the bowhead, rather than first transferring to a wheelchair and then to the bowhead. In this instance, it is best to set the bowhead close and adjacent to the lift chair with the seat aligned to the seat of the lift chair. This will minimize the time that it, the lift is stopped while giving the rider a smooth and efficient transfer to the bike. 